Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you guys are having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing day. So today I put on these, it's like imam clothes, stuff like that. And I don't know why, I just, I, I, I don't know, I just like having that feeling, you know, looking like Sadez because Sadez is like one of my role models. So I'm trying to look like Sadez, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to go to, um, today we're going to go to um, Gebel Arafat. Mashallah, I love waking up to this, man. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna miss it so much. It's a beautiful feeling. Look at it closely right there. Naz, are you coming? No. Were you sleepy? No, I'm, I'm spending my last day here. You gonna spend your last day doing tawaf? Yep. So Naz is gonna spend his last day doing tawaf. And me and my brother are ready to go. And my mom is coming too, but you're not even see her. But Imam Qasim is coming too. We are ready to go. Hi right, guys, I'm about to go knock on Sheikh Imam Qasim's door. He's gonna see my. He's gonna see. Well, I'm gonna see his reaction. Right. I'm so scared. <laughs> he's gonna think I'm some weird guy. <laughs> Open the door. I hear you. Salam alaikum. What are you doing, Sheikh? Salam alaikum. Huh? I'm an imam now. <laughs> yeah, you are imam. Was <laughs> surprising, mashallah. It's good. You like it? Is it nice? Yeah, definitely imam of all the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce Ikhlaq here in the Qudsiya. They're Imam Qasim's kids, mashallah. He's, he's one of the quietest, cutest kids ever, but he's gonna talk. Don't worry, he's gonna talk in this vlog. Go ahead. Got it. Ila. It's the police right here. 999, police. This is, mashallah, this is Arafat. Gabal Arafat, right here. How you like it? Looks nice? Nice. I thought you feel like going up. Why? Nah, man, it's good. 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes to go up there. We have to do it, right? Are we gonna do it? Huh? Yep. Yeah, he spoke. He spoke. <laughs> Mom, he spoke. He said yes. You ready? What's that? You ready? Yes? Yes. Yes, she spoke too. Yes, mashallah. Alright, we're going up. Let's go. We made it to the top. I couldn't feel myself going up the stairs because I had to help my mom up. So I took my mom up, made it here, and we are here on top of Gabal. Arafat, it's so beautiful. As Jabal al yeah. the mountain of mercy. Uh, after you can say Baytullah, uh, this is one of the most important place after Baytullah Masjid al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is not Jabal Arafat? Uh, this is Jabal, Jabal, it's known as Jabal Arafat, Arafat but uh, within Arafat it is known as mainly mountain of mercy. Oh, now it's about Jabal al Rahma. Mashallah, that's crazy. So on 9th of Arafat, 9th of Arafat, which is the main day of the Hajj, yeah. all the Hajjaj, about 4 million of those, are surrounding in this yeah. area. My prayer yeah. is that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you here Inshallah, thank on you the so day of Arafat. Inshallah, Not only you, Ibrahim, and your younger brother, your father, your mother. Inshallah. So this place is called Jamarat. Yes. They uh, throw they throw the rocks at the at the shaitan or what? Yes. They throw rocks over there at the shaitan. Uh, not rocks, pebbles. Pebbles, pebbles. <laughs> they, they think that is real shaitan sitting there. So it's not a real shaitan? <laughs> no, it's not. So so why they throw it? It's just symbolic. Oh wow, Symbo because symbol symbol symbolic. Yeah. Can you throw anything else other than like pebbles? Can you throw like slippers? No, no, no. <laughs> Inshallah, I wish that all of you. Uh, can come here inshallah to Hajj. inshallah and uh, by watching this clip yes you adam and uh, all his fans and everybody should yeah. make intention of performing hajj as Insha soon as possible inshallah inshallah man. Inshallah. inshallah you're inspiring all of them and i love yeah. that about you man this is uh, inspiring the doomy khaif. game wow yeah. masjid al khaif uh, uh, one of the main masjids you see the whole thing over there wow boy do you see it bro can, can I go out and throw like pebbles at it right now? <laughs> no? Ah no, oh, man, I want to. I've always wanted to do that. I don't know why. Like it's always. <laughs> There's no shit down there. But still, I want to no, like just go I, do it. I also want to take you there and throw stones on you. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> How you guys doing in the back? You guys doing good? What's up? You guys okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going here again. You are bald. I'm going more here. Though. <laughs> 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 Yeah, look. 
just telling me show you guys my scars. I have a scar here. And the reason why I got that scar, someone behind me is gonna tell you. Why did I get this scar? I had eight staples over here. Eight staples. I don't know who did that. Sure? Yeah. Hey guys, it's not Abdullah. It's from Philippines. Salam Shout out to the going. Philippines. Wa alaikum salam, man. How's it going? You good? Yeah, really good. My boy, Filipino, my boy, Tayo. I'm gonna say, I can explain. You good? Yeah, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Every yeah. day I watch your vlogs. Thank, Thank you so much. much. I appreciate it. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. Yeah. Salam. Hi. Hello. So we just got done praying the and we just got done going to Kebel Arafat and all those cool places. I learned so much new stuff. It was so dope. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. He just stopped me to record his friend. First, we're gonna go get some Starbucks coffee. So we got our Starbucks. We have about three, four hours till us, so we can go hang out, go to the mall, do some, do some, yeah, do some shopping. We're doing a lot, a lot of shopping. I'm never going shopping with my mom again. She's a spender, man. She shops a lot, but she's a good bargainer. Like she helps me out to bargain, to bargain a lot. The crazy thing is in Starbucks, they have a woman's side and a men's side. By accident yesterday, we went to the woman's side without knowing. The guy was like, hey, what are you doing here? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm at Starbucks. He's on the woman's side. I'm like, oh, really? And went to the men's side. But it's pretty interesting. I, I love it here, actually. It feels like, it feels like home. I think that looks sick if you get it one from Mustang, man. This one, what size? This one or that one? The Gambia, the Yemeni one. Looks sick, right? Yeah, That'll fit him. That's his size right there. That's literally his size right there. So my brother just bought a Gucci watch. And I'm trying to tell him, you see how it looks over I'm trying to tell him, why do you, why do you get watches, man? Why? My eyes designed for a couple of days. Yo, you could just look at, there's a big clock here in Mecca, you just look at the time right there. I don't, I don't get the reason why people are like, yo, I got Rolex watch, Gucci watch. There's no point, man, no point. Got it right here. Crazy, bro. You crazy? I, I, can't, I can't even see the time. Right here. I can't even see the time. I can't even see it. Yo, oh my God, that thing costs so much. Oh my God. All right, 24 hours. I don't get, I don't get you, bro. Crazy. Crazy thing here in Saudi Arabia, like they leave all the shops open. Even if it's Gucci, it'll cost four or five thousand dollars. It's still open. The shops are still open because if anyone is caught stealing here, they cut your hand. It's, it's not a joke. Before I end this vlog, I want to show you guys this little clip that I accidentally recorded today. We were at the Kaaba. Me and Naz were literally like praying like other guys and doing tawaf and just making dua on the Kaaba, kissing it, and just literally just enjoying the moment and and and. and Talking to Allah, like when I was when I was kissing uh, the Kaaba and making da, I felt like I felt like I was literally talking to Allah. Like I felt a connection. I felt so touched that I started tearing so much and, and everything. Then I went to go see. I was I went to go look for Nas, and I had my camera, and I see Nas. I never in my life. I never when I when I see this. I never in my life see Nas tear or anything like that. He doesn't even know I'm posting like posting. Like, he doesn't even know I have this camera. He doesn't even know I have this footage or anything like that. But I seriously want you guys to see it because. It inspired me and it touched my heart. It brought like his eyes were just crying and crying and crying and it really touched my heart and and yeah, it just it gave me that good feeling. So I want to show you guys so you guys can be inspired by it. Stand, 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 hold on, stand. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, I want you guys to see it and to show you guys that this is real. This is real life. Life is you only li literally, you only, I'm not gonna say you only live once, but literally you only have one life and it's so short and the afterlife is so long. Like it goes on forever and forever. So why make dumb mistakes and do stupid stuff in that little short life to mess up your whole long, you know, afterlife when you can do good and try your best to, to be a better person and you can have an amazing, Afterlife, so think what I was saying. I don't know, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do me gang another Saudi vlog tomorrow. We're going to Medina, so I'll sit, take care and peace. Do me gang, I love you. Thumbs up.
and go Turkey. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the Saturday Vlogs. See you guys soon. Salam.